I call the Maplewood City Council work session to order on October 24th. Mr. Nyberg, roll call, please. Council Member Correll? Here. Council Member Falkingham? Here. Council Member Garcia? Here. Council Member Homa? Here. Mayor Knapper? Here. Council Member Maddox? Council Member Page? Thank you. Uh, Mayor, we have a quorum. Thank you. May I have a motion to excuse Council Member Page, please? So moved. Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Any opposed? That motion carries. May I have a motion to excuse Council Member Maddox? So moved. Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. Thank you. All right. Mr. Niber, item number four, please. Reimbursement of prior year expenses with the GO bonds. Good evening, Council. Um, I'm going to go over um, one of the things that we had talked about the last meeting was possibly using some of the GO bond money that if we go out for the GO bond and we get it, that we can use some of those funds to reimburse the city for similar expenses that we've already incurred. So um, that would be for other sidewalk street repair or street lights that we've already incurred currently. Um, and it's very specific on what we can and cannot do in order to be able to keep the bonds tax exempt. And we want the bonds to be tax exempt in order to make sure that they are, um, I guess, more enticing to buyers because tax exempt bonds are, are gonna be the ones that we wanna sell. Um, so, I have already spoken with our bond council and um, I have a conference call with her and uh, tax attorney or their tax, um, their tax attorneys to make sure that any expenses that we want to use will be able to keep the bonds tax exempt. But um, there's a couple of things that we're allowed to do. So I know Mayor, you had asked me to come up with three different scenarios. Unfortunately, because they are tax exempt bonds, we are only allowed to do up to $100,000 or 3% of the bond, whichever is less. So if we're doing a $6 million bond, 3% would be, or yeah, 3% would be $300,000. So we can only do up to $100,000. So that would be the max that we're able to do. Now we have sidewalk repairs that we did in the last fiscal year that would definitely qualify up to $100,000. We have street repairs that we did above $100,000. So we have plenty of repairs that we could use. So when I had the call with bond council, we will go over to make sure that, that we have expenses that will qualify. As you remember, when we did the budget presentation earlier this year, we were looking at a capital improvement sales tax fund balance of $60,000 at the end of this fiscal year. Um, and that's if we spent everything that we had anticipated in the budget. And if revenues were what we expected as well. So, you know, all things being equal. Um, if we are able to do this reimbursement of those expenses, that would be another $100,000 that we'd be able to put towards our fund balance, which would make our fund balance instead of being $60,000, $160,000. Well, it's not millions of dollars, it's still much more cushion than the original $60,000 that we were looking at. Um, and I know that, you know, we've talked about this with doing the streets, sidewalks, street lights, what that means for our budget, but we spend probably $965,000 on average every year on streets above our SDP program. So above the Manchester overlay, just other street repair and sidewalk repair. So this GO bond would really make a big difference to that capital improvement sales tax budget because we wouldn't be spending all of that money on streets and we would have money to be able to spend on some of the streets that we can't use the GO bond money on, but we probably wouldn't be using all of it at one time every year. So I think it would be a really good thing if we are able to spend the $100,000 to reimburse expenses, as long as it's going to remain keeping the GO bonds as tax exempt. And I'd like to request the council consider that in when we look at how we are going to spend any GO bond money that we receive. Thank you. What What is the timeline in us? I guess, I believe this is an ordinance that we would have to create, is that correct? Do you know? It's not an ordinance that we'd have to correct? No. Okay, so so then we would just have access to this 
uh, $100,000 as long as we abided by the um, rules that you just gave to us, correct? Yes, that okay. is my understanding. But we have to make sure that the expenses qualify. And if they don't qualify, then obviously we would then be putting those bonds in jeopardy. And so we would want to make sure that any expenses we used would keep those bonds qualifying as a tax exempt bond. Okay, that's fine. Let's say you counsel. Yeah. So I I think, yeah, I think <laughs> then I, I I would ask that you have a conversation with Mr. Traxler um, and just make sure that, you know, you all have an understanding that $100,000 will be earmarked for expenses that will qualify for, for this. Okay. And I will, like I said, I will speak with um, Shannon Creighton. She's with Gilmore Bell and I will speak with her and the, she has some tax attorneys that we're going to talk to to make sure that the specific expenses that we're looking at, that they will qualify. So we make sure that we don't do anything that would put those bonds in any kind of jeopardy. Okay. Thank right. you. Thank you. All right, Mr. Member, item number five. Amendments to charter for Department of Law discussion. So what we have before us is uh, basically our discussion that we had last council meeting uh, now in writing. And I just wanted to see if anybody had any questions, comments, concerns. If you do not, then I think we're going to move forward with um, the process that we need to do to get this on the April ballot. It's needed. Council Member Home, are you good? Okay. All right, then. So we'll go through the next steps of getting that uh, on our next council meeting. And it has to go through three readings, but we'll get it on. Thank you. All right. Mr. Neighbor, item number six. Sort of an ethics amendment discussion. All right. So this is a follow-up to the conversation that we had I believe it was about two council meetings ago. Um, and so I just wanted to talk with you all about this language, make sure that if this is what you were thinking, then we're good to go. If not, then let's talk about it a bit more. First, I would, I would like to say thank you. Thanks to our attorney, Graves, for drafting this for us for us to discuss. I think it was the last page. It's the last page. So the only, I think the only, the only, the only part that kind of gives me pause um, is in the first sentence. So disruption or direction of city operations, except that council members may consistent with their rights and privileges as a city re resident. That accept is what is kind of giving me a bit of heartburn, um, just because the way that I read this, that exception is is basically saying that we as city residents, when we do contact the police department, you know, or public works to report a, a pothole that actually could be seen as a disruption or dire or direction of city operations, um, but these are the exceptions to that. And so for me, I didn't want that to be an exception. I just wanted it to be like, this is something that council members can do. And I wanted to be clear that disruption is direction of a department head. So, so telling Mr. Traxler, you need to come and have someone cut my tree down in my yard. That was my thoughts though. What were you all? thinking because you know maybe I'm just too far in the weeds
Yeah, the, the, the nested clauses kind of had my brain stuttering on that one. And I think, is it different in your head, Mayor, if it's except that council members may consistent with their rights, blah, 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 if that would, no, never mind. I thought I could make it, no. I rescind that entire sentence. I'm so sorry. Yes, I mean, I, I don't. I think as we've all discussed, I don't read into it much further than that. Okay. You know, than what's here. You know, I think, or you know, if you all speak it tonight, it's clear. You know, this language is clear to me on that. I don't think you probably had it. No, I I don't think we need to fool around with intent because that, that makes things nasty. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well then if y'all are good. We'll have this on the um, next agenda as well. Okay. That's it. May I have a motion to adjourn? Absolutely. Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. We are adjourned. Thank you. Uh -huh.